hey guys welcome to today's video i'm trust and on today's video i'm going to show you how to create a consistent model replica image creation so if you are creating image and you want a particular person's face to um to keep showing all the whole time you create your image this is actually how to do it and it's actually very simple and straightforward so the first thing you actually need to do is actually to get the image of the person and actually make sure that you actually got a proper image of the person now a proper image of the person is actually going to be an image that is displaying the face of the person properly so if the face is not showing properly this is not going to work like this particular one right here i was able to gather these images and make sure that the image is very clear um, so that people can easily see it so um this is a clear image of this guy um you know leonardo or i'm going to call him leo so this is the image of the guy i already downloaded so many images of the person so um all you need to do is to download the front view side view uh left side view and right side view of the person and make sure you have it repeated so that the ai is going to understand the um, image properly so but before we go into uh, let me sh quickly show you guys um who, the one i've created so this guy is actually called jude and i've act actually done this for jude also now you can see his face right now let me go ahead and show you guys what i created with jude so these are jude these are his replica all of them different character and if i type anything right here it's going to generate image of this guy for me it's going to do it on repeat and there is actually a way to do it so now let's go ahead and start with the video so i'm going to go ahead and open it in a new tab i actually have a different account no um i'm going to use a different one i'm going to use this one instead so on this particular account i have not actually created any image yet so if we are generating an image let's create an image very quick so to create an image on the platform um, highlight on this area and then go to where it says image studio now you notice I'm currently on image studio so if you click that you are going to see that it says that this version is actually turned on which is the version 2 and leave this image on general you can actually change that to portrait if you want to but I'm okay with the general and the size of it you can choose these three different sizes so the next one is actually the direction just leave this on default but if you decide you want to change it you can actually change it so that you control your character's positioning or you can rather scale it but i'm actually okay to leave that on default so i'm just going to say <sighs> all right um i can go ahead and generate this image now once you generate an image it's going to generate an image for you now do not forget guys there are more um, more settings that you can make here now you notice where it says consistent face that is actually what we need we are going to work on this and we are going to make it properly repeat our image consistently which is rather called our actor and also you can say consistent full body you can also choose that and then um you can also exclude the image so there are different settings right here so on default i'm using the default setting and you can notice right there it says cinematic so this is going to load up and display the image after it's finished generating it so you should generate a teacher teaching for us but then if this takes too much time you can always go to the um you can always go to the home page and you are going to see what was generated but then let's allow it to load up all right guys so we have been able to generate our image you can see very simple now let's start making this have a particular face um to display for us instead of having random faces you can see this is a different person these are different people but now if you wanted to have consistent image reputation this is all you need to do now come to where it says um, character builder click on character builder now we are going to upload all of the character that we want so you notice where it says create your ai character um your ai actor most people call it model so i'm going to click on that and we are going to wait for it to load up so this is going to load up and show um hold on okay it has loaded up now you notice what i explained in the beginning this is actually the images that are required to post right but all of this one there are no no so if you upload something like this you are not going to get better result maybe the person's back showing the person wearing glasses or too far or maybe in a group these are not allowed but all of these are allowed and that's what i explained so to start choose if the person is a male or a female so male or female adult or child so choose whichever one and then give it a name so the name of this is going to be leo 
and then i'm going to drag and drop my image right here so these are the images i am going to highlight everything and minimize this so that i'll be able to drag it put it by the side and then drag everything and you can notice where it says copy leave it it's going to copy if you do not want to drag and drop just quickly click on browse and it's going to browse the image so after you've done this this is going to start uploading the images you notice the image has start uploading so let's allow it to upload complete upload and then we continue so guys the image uploaded successfully now what we need to do is to click on start training so when you start training it's going to train this ai and it might take a while to complete this usually take um you can notice it says one to two hours which is actually taking longer now when i did this it actually took longer than two hours so guys we actually have to wait for this to complete so um let's wait for the training to complete and then we resume all right guys so the image was generated successfully and now you can see leo you can look at him very well to confirm if this is actually looking like um what we are expecting now you can see the image very well so if you want to create an image you can click on this area you notice it says create image with this actor and apart from that when you hover on this area you are going to see where it says create image of this actor now you can compare this from the original image to tell me if they are the same person or if they are different i think it's actually the same person and the ai actually made it better now these have actually been open now you notice it says uh, dynamic portrait of leo okay now we can actually create that making use of that image and we can actually use a different one so um there are actually two ways to actually create image after this has finished generating i am going to show you guys two different ways to actually generate image making use of our characters so let's allow this to complete and i'm going to show you guys more things all right guys so the image has successfully generated and to actually save this image all you need to do is to click on it wait for it to load up um then you can right click and then you can do save image as so it's going to show and you are going to type in any name to save the image and you are going to hit save and it's going to save on the folder you've selected. Now you can look at the image and see how they look. You can now navigate through the other images that was generated by clicking on the thumbnail. These are the thumbnail of the image. So you can right click and save the image. Now there is actually no option to download this image yet. Now this is actually an icon that is supposed to download the image but whenever you click on this a different option comes out and shows you an option to actually upscale the image. So the only way to actually save or download the image is to right click and then you hit on save. But then I'm not, I've am not i not actually used this on mobile yet but I'm going to try it on mobile to see how it looks like. So you can now go to your picture or your downloaded area to actually see how this looks like. But do not worry, I'm still going to show you guys even more ways to actually generate your image. But now, this is actually our generated image. The other one is still downloading, it's not yet complete. Okay, it's complete now. Wait for it, it's loading up. Now you can see, this is actually looking okay. But you can see that it's actually edit, um, properly edited and this image looks like Leonardo. <laughs> Um, a lot of people might be able to notice that this is actually an AI generated but very few people will, will be able to know because this looks very perfect and it looks like a perfectly edited Photoshop job. But then this actually is um, an AI generated image. You can really replicate or notice what an AI generated image look like. Now, um, let me go ahead and show you guys a different method of replicating the same image. Now, let's go ahead and go to the home page. So after you might have created your character and you want to create your image and you want to create it in a different way, this is actually how you need to do that. So go to image studio. Now, before I do that, um, just like before, you can see other images that have been generated of this guy. So now I'm going to go to um, image studio and then wait for it to load up right am i on image studio okay sorry i'm already there so all i need to do is to click on create new that loaded fast i didn't even notice i was there okay wow this has been fast today so now you are going to enter the description of your image do not forget you can always change this to a different version if you want so i'm going to say
Alright, I just typed a handyman. Now, if you want to create a consistent face, all you need to do is to click on actor. Do not forget we have already uploaded our AI, so we can choose our AI. You can actually choose other people's AI, uh, AI model if you want, but I'm actually going to choose this. So, automatically it's going to add at Leo. What that means is that even though you do not put it here, you can always put at Leo which is the name of the character I created and it's going to generate the image for you. Now let me go ahead and click on generate and this will start generating our image. And also guys, this AI is actually very perfect for replicating um, model image that has been trained unlike other AI tools. But now the only issue I have with this AI tool is that it takes a lot of time to generate the images. So most of the time I will just start generating the images and then I will leave. I will have to come back later on. So this actually takes a lot of time. Apart from that, um, I didn't notice any other issue. I think any other thing is also training the AI. It also takes a lot of time training the AI and also this. So let's allow this to finish the training and then we continue. All right, guys. So you can see our handyman. Um, the handyman, what is that? Okay, a bulb. I think he's supposed to have a screw in his hand or his tools. But then he's wearing a handy clothe, clothing, so you can know he's a handyman. But the tools would have actually made him look more right, like a handyman. So guys, um, you can see how good or how accurate the um, image is looking. So even though you want him to wear a hat, he can also wear a hat. Um, all you just need to do is to type it a handyman wearing hat and all the stuff and it's going to generate the images for you so guys you can actually get that the only way to create this or to get this accurate is actually to type in and then put at leo and then you hit generate and this is going to generate and you can save the image and you can also animate the image by clicking on this animate but probably in a different video i'm going to elaborate more on that so all you just need to do to uh, make use of other things is actually to click on story on video on image or any other thing but now to animate let's click on animate and you're going to see different options i'm actually not interested in showing you guys all of those stuff in this video because this is actually going to take more of our time so guys i hope this video is helpful if it's helpful do not forget to smash like and subscribe for more video and also if you want me to make more video about how the animation works please let me know on the comment section and i am going to also make video about that all right guys so you can see that it actually detected the face once you finish rendering the image it's going to say face detected and you can notice it says click to enable animation once you click it's going to enable the animation and now i've actually not practiced this for too long so there is actually multiple things you can do after you enable this animation you are actually going to tell it something to say like that is actually in the middle now if i enable this is actually going to allow me you notice it says um wait i think that is actually taking too much time so once you enable it you can see below is going to give you something to say or the speech to say so you can notice there it says what to say you can just type what to say i think the actual reason why um why i'm having this challenge is because um i am recording so if I am not recording, everything shouldn't be this challenging and it's actually taking longer time. So all you need to do to animate on this particular AI, you see it's still hanging. All you need to do is to type in the word right here. And then right here, you can see the images. You can just change to um, different AI image speech. If you click on this play, it's going to play the images audio for you. It's going to play the audio for you. So you can choose the right one and then you click on preview and you can come up to this area to actually export your images with only two credits so guys um that is all i have for you on today's video please if you have any question leave it on the comment section or if you have any requirement for me to make more video leave it on the comment section and i will see you guys on my next video stay safe and peace